Welcome to Searching the IEEE Explore Digital Library. In this video, you'll learn how to navigate to the IEEE Explore Digital Library from the library homepage, perform a keyword search for full text articles and conference proceedings, and utilize filters and limiters to refine your search in the IEEE Explore Digital Library. Let's get started. To get to IEEE Explore, begin at the library homepage at farmingdale.edu slash library. Click Databases just below the search field. Once you arrive at the Databases A to Z page, the quickest way to locate the database is to enter I, E, E, E in the search field in the upper right hand corner above the A to Z list. When IEEE Explore Digital Library appears, click it. If you are off campus, you will be prompted to enter your Farmingdale credentials. If you are on campus, you will be brought directly to the IEEE Explore Digital Library Simple Search page. Once you arrive at the IEEE Explore Digital Library Simple Search page, click Advanced Search. Now let's say we're interested in learning more about solar cells and farming. In the first field, we'll type in solar cells. Then, in the next field, we'll type in Agriculture. You'll notice that there is a drop-down menu next to each search field. When we search the database, we're not only searching the text of the items stored in the databases, we're also searching the records that have been created for each of these items. The drop-down menu allows us to target our search to a specific portion of each record. For instance, if we selected Document Title for the first field, we'd only receive results in which solar cells was part of the title of the article. For now, however, we'll start off with a broad search and narrow as we go. If you're interested in learning more about how to develop and structure your keywords for searching, click the link in the description below. As we scroll down the page, you will see that you also have the option of narrowing your search by publication date. There are two ways to use this feature. First, you can specify a date range by dragging the date slider, or you can type in your range in the fields below the slider. In this case, we'll look for items published within the last five years. Then we'll click search. At the top of the list, we're able to view the number of results returned. As we scroll down our list of results, you'll notice that there's a lock icon beside each article. In some cases, the locks are red. This means that the item is not available in full text because it is not part of the package to which Greenlee Library subscribes. If you come across an article or a conference proceeding with a red lock, you can request access to this item via our interlibrary loan department. See the description below for a link to instructions for requesting these items. You'll also notice that there may be green unlocked lock icons. This means that the item is either open access or part of the package to which Greenlee Library subscribes. If you would like to refine your search further, you can use the filter options to your left. If you want to limit to items available in full text, click My Subscribed Content. By doing this, we have limited our results and you'll notice that all of the lock icons beside each item are green and unlocked. This means we have limited our result to items to which we have full access. We can also filter by content type. In this case, we have the option of choosing between articles from journals and proceedings from conferences. Let's limit by journals. Now we have fewer results. But let's say we want to go back to the previous search and limit in a different way. We can undo the filters we apply by going to the top of the page to the Filters Applied area. To undo the Journals filter, we'll just click the little X next to Journals. Now we're back to the same number of results we had prior to limiting to journals. As you can see, we still have a number of filters we can work with, including the ability to limit results by a single year or a range of years, author, affiliation of author, 
the publication in which the articles or proceedings were published, the publisher, the location of the conference for which proceedings were generated, and, perhaps most helpful, index terms. Items in IEEE are indexed under terms that tell us what a particular article or conference proceeding is about. When we select a term from the list in this filter, our result will automatically limit our results to only those materials which are indexed under the term we have selected. Let's select one. When we're ready to read an article in our result list, we'll just click the title. This will take you to the record for the item where you'll be able to read the abstract, generate citation information, and download the PDF if available. Thank you for watching Searching IEEE Explore Digital Library. Librarians are available to assist you during all open hours in person, by phone, and by email. Please don't hesitate to contact us.